Hello, my name is Scorpios, and welcome to a brand new episode on a brand new survival series from the Rambo SMP server. So I was fortunate enough to be invited to this SMP server, and as you can see here, I have gotten myself started with a small starter base. So for this season of Rambo SMP, everyone is going to be building their bases on this main island, and my base is situated at one corner of this island here. And as you can see here, this small island used to be a small hill, just like the area surrounding it. But I went ahead and did some grinding off camera, and I removed this entire hill on this island into these three chests here. So as you can see here, it was actually a lot of work off camera. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to put on my helmet here um, just for some extra protection. And as you can see here, I also started building a small production system. So here we have a bed, a furnace, which is empty, and a crafting bench. And this thing here, which I used to put some enchantment on all of my diamond gears, which obviously I did some mining off camera. And we also have this um, bone meal production here. Over the past couple of days, I have been planting some crops along this side of this island. So as you can see here, we are actually heading into harvest season right now. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right here. It looks like the sun is setting. So let's see if we can harvest all of the wheat before the sun sets. Alright, so this is the second day, we just woke up, and as you can see here, we have already harvested all of the wheat here. And so we're just going to go ahead and put these wheat into our storage chest. And another thing that I'm also going to do is to go ahead and replant these wheat. For today's episode, I am thinking of building a production facility that is going to be the centerpiece of this starter base. So you guys may know that I really like building medieval style, but for this season of Rambo SMP, I have decided to go with a slightly different style. And in fact, I'm going to build something that is more futuristic, more modern. All right, guys, so for the first episode of this series, I am actually thinking of building a sugarcane farm. So for that project, we can actually make use of some of our leftover materials from the wheat harvest. I'm going to dump all of the wheat seeds into this chest here, which is going to be converted into bone meal through this apparatus here. And as you can see here, all of the bone meal is being collected down here. And using the bone meals that we have collected, we are actually going to go ahead and create some flowers. And as you can see here, I have started a small workstation right here, which we're going to use to store our construction material for this upcoming farm project. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and convert all of the red flowers into red dye. And as for the next part of our preparation process, we are going to go into a different part of my base, which is all the way hidden over here. So off to the corner of my starter base, I have started a small mine shaft down here. So if we go all the way down here, I have actually started. Oh well, there's a there's a zombie. Uh, there's a zombie pigment here. So as you can see here, down in my mine shaft, I have actually started a nether portal. So let's uh, so let's go through this portal here. The reason we're here is to gather some fuel, and in my opinion, lava is actually a pretty good fuel source, so I'm just going to uh, collect a bucket of lava here. And with a bucket of lava collected, we are going to uh, try to make our way back to our base without being seen by the gas right there. With a bucket of lava at our disposal, we're going to go ahead and create some glass blocks. And using our orange dye, I'm just going to create a couple of stacks of orange concrete powder. All right, here we go. That is a lot of orange concrete powder. In fact, that is going to be more than what I will need for this project. But that is okay. All of the leftovers that we have from this project will be recycled for our future projects. And speaking of future projects, if there is a farm that you would like to see me building in my base, please leave a comment and let me know. And any feedback would be much appreciated. 
All right, and as you can see here, I have also increased our furnace production right here and in this chest right here. I think I have gathered most of the materials that I will need for this upcoming building project. And right here, I have actually went ahead and created a rough outline for this farm project. So this is just a rough sketch using some concrete powder. So this is going to mark the inner boundary of this farm. The sugarcane production is actually going to be on the second floor. So this entire chamber that you're seeing here will eventually be turned into perhaps a storage system for our starter base. And very unfortunately, due to the sheer size of this floor plan, I did have to destroy some of the farmland. And as I build up more of the outer wall, I think part of this wheat farm is also going to have to go. But that is okay because as you can see here, we have plenty of room to expand our starter base. That means in an upcoming episode, I can totally do another farm nearby, probably a wheat farm of some sort in this open area here. So yeah, let's get this project started. And the very first thing I'm going to do here it's actually pretty simple. I'm just going to uh, turn all of the concrete powder into orange concrete. And after that, let's jump right into a time lapse. All right, and as you can see here, we have just created a base for this sugarcane farm. And right here is going to be a entrance into the lower half of this structure, which as I mentioned, is going to be turned into a storage facility at a later episode. And of course, off to the side here, I have also started a temporary entrance to the second floor. And as you can see here, I have placed down a wooden floor on the second floor here, which is going to overlook this entire surrounding area. And the view here is fantastic. So of course, this second floor here is where we are going to start our sugarcane production. And the very first thing that I'm going to do here is to lay down just one layer of sand on this floor right here so i'm going to go ahead and do just that and here we go look at the amount of progress that we were able to make and here i have covered this entire area with sand and we also did some work along the edges here and as you can see here i've dug out a lot of holes in this area and this is to make sure that we can cover this entire floor with sugarcane so you may know that sugarcane only grows on a block that is right next to water so the way that we're going to set this farm up is that for each one of these holes we're going to put in a bucket of water and we're going to cover up with some water logging so here i'm putting down a half slab just to make this so here I'm putting down some sandstone just to cover this up. And on the corners here, we're just going to put down some sugarcane and we're just going to watch them grow. So basically we're going to do the same thing for every single one of these holes. So this is going to be quite a long project. So once again, we're going to jump right into another time lapse. Alright, here we go. This sugarcane farm is now complete and as you can see here, it actually takes up a lot more space than I had expected, but that is okay because we'll figure out a way to use the rest of our space in our upcoming episodes. So as you can see here on the inside of this farm, we have some lanterns to keep mobs from spawning and we already have some sugarcane that are growing so to wrap up this episode here i thought i would go afk for a little bit and just to show you how much this sugarcane farm produces so i'm going to go afk for a little bit and i will be right back as i mentioned this farm is going to be manual which is which is okay but um it does take a little bit of time to harvest all of these sugarcane so i'm going to go ahead and do exactly that
So I went ahead and collected all of the sugarcane. And as you can see here, I ended up with over 10 stacks of sugarcane in one harvest. And that is a lot of sugarcane. So overall, I would say that this episode has been a success. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode from my brand new SMP survival series. And if you did, please leave a like. And I will be releasing another episode in about a week or two. So stay tuned for the next episode. And in the meantime, as you guys can see there, we still have a lot of empty space to fill in this little island here. So if you have any suggestions for farms or building that you would like to see me build on this channel, please comment down below. And with that said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.